everything passes. Uh, talk on the topic for this morning, what dropped in. Um, you know, a lot of us, um, and it's not just now, you know, with everything that's going on um, outside in the world around us, but, uh, you know, within, and it's been going on for eons, obviously, but it's a process of evolution, right? And so a lot kind of goes into this, and I've been getting information, you know, throughout the week to talk about, you know, we, we come in and I've talked about, you know, preparing before we come in and then after we come in and then the environment that we pick up and we choose our parents and our parents agree and we have all these divine agreements and connections. And so if you've watched a lot of my previous videos, you kind of have the understanding of, you know, prior to coming in, being born, after birth and then getting into our environments. And then basically it's it's like, because we start taking on the human form, the identity, it's, it's called amnesia basically. So, and I know a lot of us in, in like for the medical field, you know, if you hit your head, you get amnesia, but it's an amnesia of who you truly are, right? You forget yourself. You don't remember who you are coming into this realm and then we start taking on the persona, the ego, the identity, and then we live from that place, right? Instead of our true self. So we take on the false illusion, right? Which is the conditioning, the programs running on in the background, what you believe, what you took on um, as who you think you are or how you are in the world, right? Instead of your true self, right? So with that, you know, um, towards the beginning of the week, there was some information coming in as far as, you know, you have, when you, when you come in, you do, you have your uh, ingrainment, right? You have your environment, you take on the identity, the form, you have the amnesia, you forget who you truly are, but within that context, you still have the one observing all of it happening from that perspective. Now you do have, depending on your level of awareness and where you are on the spectrum of that, uh, the awareness that you can take that or you don't have to. Now, a lot of people believe that, you know, they don't have any choice, but they do. Everything is choice. We have free will, choice to choose um, everything. And so as we're choosing and going through life, we choose what we take um, of that, uh, which is in our environment, what we've uh, chosen to come into. A lot of people don't believe that, you know, it is our own doing, but it is actually our own will that's created it, you know. We may not realize it because we've forgotten um, and because we don't remember who we are and <laughs> why we came in. Um, you take up this body, the agreement, <clears throat> and everything that comes with the body comes with it. It's a part of the package, right? Sorry about the voice here. <clears throat> I actually did some um, uh, inner child healing over the week and kind of, it's been like residual energy. Still got to keep clearing and doing some work. But, um, <clears throat> you know, it comes with a package and that's going to be past life stuff. It's going to be, you know, your parents, lineages. Um, it's going to be, you know, everything. The whole kit and caboodle, you might as well say. All the eggs in the basket. And this is where you are. This is where you landed. This is the present moment of all of that. So your accumulation of all of the past into this present moment, this very moment of who you truly are, the, the, the lineage that has been passed down from eons, right? Everything in the collective that has ever been through who you truly are. And so, although it may seem far-fetched, uh, but it is the reality and the truth of it. Um, we just can't see because we believe that we were just this person, this little identity, this little form, you know, and how could I have taken that on? And you can see that, though, in surfacing on many different levels. So if we are um, inheriting certain things and traits, then you can see that it is true. It's just certain things show up in your realm and you can make the connections and certain things don't, right? 
And so just because you don't take, you can't see them or it doesn't surface doesn't mean it's not there. It's just absence of your awareness, right? Which is living in the unconscious, the bliss, not the bliss, but the, the absence of it, right? So from the construct, uh, what we're believing in is taking on its own form realm and it's evolving without our, our, our knowing it. And so we come into these situations where we experience it and when we live it out, and from that point of view, what we're living out, <clears throat> we may not even know or be aware of it, what's going on, right? Because it's the view that we take from that perspective without the awareness of source um, being there because we've given that up to be who we are, right? Based on and beyond what we are living, right? So that's who we truly are. But we take on the persona, the beliefs of our constructs, and then that's the place we live if we are not <clears throat> directly connected with source. So from that point of view, we are here collectively in the present moment, taking on and choosing what it is that we are living out in our lives, right? So we've taken the, the torch and passed it down from generation to generation and into the present moment, which is where you are now, <clears throat> and you have that torch. Right? And so now it is important for you to choose what it is that you're doing with your life because you're going to be passing that down in your lineage, uh, whether you have children or in the past lives or however that is going to be. It's going to surface at some point, whether you take on another new life, if you have kids, um, it's still going to be there, right? It's a continuation of it. There's no not doing it, right? <laughs> There's always doing it, right? And it's always being it. There's no not being because everything exists, right? Not just here, but beyond here. And so it's relative whether you see it or not. Like if it's in a physical form, it's still happening behind the scenes, right? Um, so just because it doesn't, it can't be seen, known, felt, or heard, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. That would be like, say, the creator doesn't exist, right? You can't see it, but it's in everything, right? And so it exists on the timeline of all perspectives and awareness of what is being shown, right? And taught and passed down and passed around in what we believe. So as you are the sifter of the contrast from the present moment of everything that has ever been, throughout your past lifetimes, throughout all timelines, throughout your relatives, your generations, you are the one, the carrier, the person, the being who has been created um, from that point. And it is into this point that you are currently being and you get to choose, right? So now you are in choosing, you're the leader of your own life, right? But if we allow all that in the background there, that's been gone, that's been of the past, leads your way, then you're just going to continue that torch and not make change, right? Now, if you are aware and present in your life that, hey, you know, I'm, a, <clears throat> people say that you're, um, how do they put it? I, I don't want to say victim because there's no victims. You're a product of your environment. It is true, but you're so much more than that um, because what we get to do is we get to change it. We get to become aware of it. We get to make change we choose what we want to have in the experience if we are aware of it from that point of view and now if we aren't then unfortunately we just kind of pass it down and then until we do awaken uh, at that time frame you know then we can become aware of it and change it. and so as evolution goes forward you become aware and awake of everything right and so you can have intentional change or um, by suffering change right that's when things get to a point where you, it forces you to wake up Right? Or you can have the intentional change where you're choosing to wake up. And that's planting the seeds. That's becoming aware. That's meditating. That's self-work. That's doing it for yourself instead of waiting for time to do it for you. Right? Because the more longer that you spend in suffering, the more you endure, the more longer it takes for you to actually be like, okay, I'm ready to do something. So time does take cha make change, but... <clears throat> In a very long time and I did a video on that before as well but from that point of view the more that you hold on to it things will come up and surface and you might get triggers and you may not remember where they come from because it's been so long or it may not even been yours it might have been your parents or whatever it is but you've inherited it so 
who knows until you do the work until you go to the core root of it right which has been passed down through many generations so you have access to anything and all things at all times right it's only if we choose it right everything is if we choose it everything's if we ask we have to be able to receive though at the same time because if we're going to ask we're going to want to be we're going to be shown because the universe is here to show it to us to give it to us to serve us that's the way it's been created but over time you know we've forgotten these things the the universal laws and, and rules i don't want to say regulations but the way that it has been all planned out and figured out right and so all of our lives are and have been meant to be created. There's nothing that isn't meant to be or hasn't been created yet. It's all in the formulation. It's part of it. It's like the product of the universe, everything that has ever existed. And so you can never not exist and you can never not ever not exist. Right? So of the future, because everything is a constant evolution in evolution forward moving forward moving motion right so there's always just change so we can change anything and everything that we want based on our perception reality of where we are right and so that change takes place whenever we choose it and so from the point of choosing what is it that we're choosing to change right or what are we choosing to continue to live is the exponent of what is going to actually happen from that point of view from that moment in its evolution right so it's kind of it's like a chain of reaction if you will so this sets this off and this sets this off and this sets this off right so from that point of view having the understanding that you are where you are where you're meant to be doing the things that you're meant to do and everything it has a purpose and that's kind of what dropped in um, this morning and very emotional um, for me this morning because a lot of love came up with that and you know I, a lot of people may be struggling uh, especially now with everything going on um, in the world and the, the more that we're being um, shown you know with the mass media and everything and uh, AI and all this uh, all these changes you know and how we've been living as a pivotal point right now as we're moving forward and you know with everybody you know having these changes not only on the surface level but on the macro level you know a lot of people are suffering you know because there's going to be a lot of changes coming and so a lot of people may be like okay i'm ready to check out you know or things like that but your everything is the message that i got and and i have been like that since my near-death experience struggling you know to continue to come back and still be here um you know and then to keep working forward through this right because obviously um you know i have part and role in it of what you know my soul wants to uh work out and create and continue to to do and to be here right so coming back i was in agreement that i would help uh continue to help and do things but doesn't mean that you know part of me doesn't want to go back home now that I've had a taste of being home and so it's not always easy right from having that perspective and the knowing of being home you know once again but from this morning you know it was a it was a great reminder um, and to to just keep going you know and everything has purpose um, everybody's meant to be here doing what they're meant to be doing and it's not gonna it's not easy it isn't easy right it's not meant to be <laughs> easy um, coming here into this realm but we all have a part and play and a role in it and we're all bringing a certain element to the world right to this realm um, in this existence right and so everything is is needed here at this time uh, to move forward you know through it and that's basically what dropped in you know throughout the whole week and then kind of putting it into conclusion uh you know with this morning and the rush of love and the the message that you know even though you know a lot of people are, are suffering and you know going through a lot of things 
you know, I, I can't even go on social media really and sit there and watch, you know, I go on, I do my posts and I get off because for me, it is very um, overwhelming and depressing. It doesn't align with love, though it is part of the whole process, you know, because we all have the shadow aspects and the things that are going on and things that we haven't seen or dealt with and we forget who we truly are. Um, but there's a lot of things that are being shown that are very dark, you know, and so that's something I can sit there and, and watch, you know, because <laughs> uh, it it just, you know, breaks my heart, you know, um, to, to see all that going on. And so just trying to put things um, <clears throat> into words because my experiences is hard to formulate into words to share. So, you know, trying to bring forth the message with um, the correct way of sharing it uh, and Basically, you know, it's, it's just, you know, know that everything is perfect, um, even in your own suffering. Um, and, you know, you have a part and role in it. You have a pivotal moment in making choice and choosing what you're wanting to experience uh, without, you know, if we are allowing our external situations to define our happiness, uh, you know, we're not going to be happy, <laughs> you know, and so we have to, even in the worst situations, choose our happiness, right? We are all here for a reason. We're all meant to be here. Our souls all signed up for this. Uh, we are all in it, creating, bringing a certain energy vibration to the puzzle um, and fitting in correctly exactly where we are, what we're doing, no matter what that is. And there's no judgment, there's no hatred, there's no punishment or shame on the other side. You know, it's just what we do here, you know, on, on <laughs> in this realm, um, this level of learning and experiencing uh, for ourselves and, you know, to which we take back to us our understanding and knowledge to the other side. When we do go, though, we don't take our physical form self to the other side if that makes sense. It's just the intelligence of it. So awareness and knowledge that we build up and we gain from here to when we go back and then we can reframe it back and continue. But for, you know, those who are really suffering, you know, the, you know, basically the message is just to keep going, you know, and find that happiness within yourself and, you know, don't let the, you know, the external situations uh, get you down. There's definitely going to be more changes and things coming up um, as we move forward and not always going to be a pleasant thing for everybody, you know, because not everybody gets it to be their way. <laughs> you know, if that's the way that it was, then why would we have a situation? Because everybody wants, you know, love, happiness, bliss, and joy, right? So we don't, we have that on the other side. We don't have that here, <laughs> you know. And so we come in to be a part of the play and the experience and have the understanding, the learning, the aha moments, and then, you know, from that evolving in awareness, the consciousness, right, from the streams of consciousness, uh, which I've talked about before, the arrays. And so from there, we just continue on. And so, you know, just making peace with where we are in the moment because everything changes, right? Nothing lasts forever. We, we're only in the moment except for when we're holding on to it and tailgating it and living it out like forever, right? So, you know, yes, things happen, but if we hold on to it, that's when we carry it. When we it, Things happen and we just, okay, this is it. We understand it. We perceive it. We experience it and then let it go. Right? And that's hard to do for a lot of times and a lot of things, especially when we are hurt deeply. Uh, but that's part of the experience of why we came in and the soul came to take on the body, which is to share in, in the suffering, its own knowing, right? Its own awareness of what's creating this and what's creating that. It's like it's understanding, trying to understand itself in its own reality, right? Its own awareness which is the perspective and perception that we take on when we come in here into these different realms. There's many different realms. There's not just this one, right? But we believe it is the only one because we're in this one and we've forgotten our true selves, right? And so uh, we believe and perceive that this is the only realm in existence in the world. We have many different dimensional realities and awarenesses that we can go to and visit and have that experience from that viewpoint 
we can you know go to the past the future wherever it is that we are wanting to visit and gain knowledge from all right it's not just this one but we're all trained and tuned into believing that uh, which is a false illusion part of it right the matrix what they call it so from that point of view you know try to have the understanding of everything and so it'll make the suffering so much lesser uh, than what it is to know that everything is just temporary we're just moving through this we're not from here this is not who i am uh, this is just from my understanding my knowledge my benefits you know to have the experience to learn from and to move on and evolve uh, from that we can take back many many different lessons to the other side and have the understanding knowledge that we can understand and move forward to and through the evolution of having to come back here right so we don't have to choose to come back here we can go to different realms things like that um, and so it's the false illusion that they teach you that you know you're either one and done you only have one life or there's multiple lifetimes and you're stuck to suffering the karma outlay and you know uh, you know punishments things like that so those are all false belief systems uh, that they've, you know, helped you to gain uh, from your existence, which is a part of the play, right? It's the, the experience of what you chose to take up as your environmental um, infrastructures, if you will, to gain that insight and understanding of it by being part of it. You know, as you come in, you've taken up the body, that's the environment that you came into, right? Your parents, you know, person from India is going to have a different experience than somebody in the United States, right? So um, everybody's perspective, perspective is different. Nobody's is wrong. Everybody's is right because that's what was chosen. Everything is correct. Everything is the way it's supposed to be. And so everybody is supposed to be here where they are in the moment, in the places that they are utilizing, doing the things that they're doing, right? Nobody's not not supposed to be here <laughs> doing the things that they're doing. So look at it from that point of view. And, you know, that is really what they want to get through to you, you know, this week in, um, you know, try to, to look at it from that point of view. Now, they have a bigger perspective than me to know everybody and whoever is struck, you know, struggling and suffering at this point. I know my own suffering, my own struggles uh, with being here, but, you know, it, there's so much many and more who are and though i can't see them because they're not in my viewpoint source has that viewpoint and so the message is just you know you will suffer more if you keep focusing on it and you will suffer less if you don't right <laughs> so allow yourself to be in in the space of bliss no matter what your situation is because it's not a condition of who you are it's a response to who you are so where you are is, is in the creation now if you change it then you can make it different if we hold on to it as our inner our identity, who I am, this is my life, then you're going to keep creating that. And so change it, right? And so allow it to just pass through you like the water in a river. Just let it flow, right? Be there with it, observe it, have the understanding, the experience, watch it as it moves through you. Don't be it, right? Be the change, right? And who was the one that said be the change in the world that you want to see, right? So that is a master, right? And so they've created, you know, the different ways forward for everybody. Everybody who's come in that's been a master has created their own way forward. And so that has created many multiple levels of awareness that you can go through and take through. And so there's no just one way to home, to source. You can take many paths, many ways through that avenue, right? And so it's ever whatever is for you. Um, and it's not about somebody else. So we're not here to dictate to others. We're not here to do it for them. We're not here to do anything for anybody but ourselves. And now maybe that sounds selfish, but um, it's actually not, right? Because we have been created individually for a reason, and that's to have your own experience, not to be it for them, right? So, but when you do do it for them or you follow them and you do not live your life, right? And so you are not doing you, <laughs> you're doing them. Right, and so that brings suffering. Right, so there's always a certain level of suffering that we go through, which is the passage of life, and from that we learn a lot. Right, if we can see it and have the awareness of it from that perspective. Now, the allowance of it is allowing it to just flow through you. Right, and that's life. Let it just flow through you. Don't grab and grasp it because it is not who you are as an individual, as a um, perspective. It's just you as the observer of it and if you put it on like your clothes then it becomes you if you take it off 
then it is no longer you. So you want to be the one without the clothes. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying be, you know, nude, but <laughs> I'm just saying don't put life on like it is your clothing, right? And so, but we get to share in the things that we're doing and then just being the observer and making the choices from the observer of it, right? Um, <clears throat> and be the change that you want to see in the world. Now, it's one thing to uh, be the observer and to, that was the other thing that popped in, you know, we, there's, there's those who are the complainers and then there's those that are the changers. And so those are who are, cha are changing are the ones that are awakened and aware and are willing and to move forward to make that change. And then you have the complainers who are just want to complain and do nothing, right? And so it's, it's really our awareness and what we want to do and how we want to show up in the world and what we want to make of the world. But we can have and have the ability to make anything and everything that we want to happen in our world, in our life. And that's just the way that's been created. If you remember who you truly are and how it truly is beyond the illusion uh, that we live in, right? And so from that perspective, just allow yourself to be present in the moment and allow the suffering to move through and by you and not affect you on a level to where it is crippling you, right? And so sometimes when it is, we just need to get up and leave, <laughs> you know, um, and look at it like, okay, this is my life. When we have the perspective, perspective of our life, that was the other thing that dropped in, you know, we can see everything in every one of what they're living is based on their perception. So when somebody is suffering, that is their perception. That's their, that's what they're living, right? And so that's their living. And so whatever their awareness is that they're observing is part of their play, their role, their experience, right? And so we don't want to judge that because that's their own experience. It's like we have our own experience and our own understanding and our own awareness of what we are working on individually on ourselves, right? <clears throat> that's why we should always turn in and not always focus on point fingers at somebody else. Um, because we have our own stuff, our own baggage that we have to deal with, right? And so... Maybe somebody's not doing what you want them to do, and that's okay. They don't have to, <laughs> right? But from that perspective, you know, life is just moving through you, right? It's it's part of the process and the, and the play and the role. And so you've been, and I did that on a video on a topic, you know, where, you know, you've been thought of, you've been divinely created, and everything that you are up until this very point and moment in this lifetime has been meant to be you know there's nothing that isn't meant to be everything is all meant to be the way that it is and it's you that are, is the creator that has the ability to change it or not right and so you are the sifter and the sorter and abraham hicks talks about that so you sift and sort through everything that has ever been from the existence of the past into the present moment and allow that to be where you are, your guidance, right? And so connecting directly with higher self-consciousness, your true self, that can help you to lead you through the, the rough patches of suffering, right? So love for life doesn't have to be so much suffering or hurt or illness or punishment or judgment. Um, it's really what we make of it really and so the outward w world is what we are creating and so it's like a video game and i've talked about the video game version before right so what is your um, environmental experience right is what is coming out from your perspective whether you know it or not right and so it is something that we take in and we have accepted whether we are realizing it or not and is projected on the outside world, which is the play that we interact with. So like a 3D game, right? And so we can manipulate it and change it at any time, having the awareness and knowledge that we can. It's when we can't that we suffer, right? And so it is a challenge, you know, to have the understanding and awareness of it and to uh, be the change in the world to make that choice and decision and so sometimes you know even i get stuck with that you know if we are having to make a decision and we're not sure if that's the right decision because you've made decisions in the past and it turned out to be not a good decision right so that's if we are listening or following guidance who are we listening to <laughs> right our old past paradigm programming or are we listening to our higher guidance right so what are we choosing right and so knowing who we're listening to and following our true guidance you know is more of the way that we want to go with um, 
in that direction versus, you know, the uh, old programming, right? And so we hear that through thoughts and feelings, emotions, and all these things that come up. And we are ridiculed with a lot of stuff. I mean, we got, a, although a life does a lot for us, like we don't have to breathe, but we do have a lot of things that we're navigating. And so if we, it's it's kind of a blessing that we are in the body and the, and the breath does the breathing for you. Because if we had to breathe, contemplate, look at everything, make changes, that, you know, how much would be on your plate, right? And so from that point of view, you know, with this channeling here, um, you know, they want, you know, you know what, you know, just know what to do, right? Have the understanding from your perspective, meditate, do whatever it is that you need to do. Get out of your current situation, even if you have to go away from your space for a few days, a few hours, get out of your mind, get out of your head, get out of the programs, you know, even if you have to quit your job, and I don't like to suggest that, but, you know, if that is what you need to do, uh, you know, do it. And then that was the other thing that came in, you know, yeah, you can walk away from whatever your situation is. And so you're not adding to the energy to keep it going, because whenever you are adding to the energy, you're creating it more and more, right? And so then you're going to have that experience. But if you walk away from whatever the situation is that's creating your suffering, then you're changing the dynamics from that perspective, because you're actually taking action, right? It's not just the choice. We have choice, and we have action, and then we have the projection and the reality and then the creation, right? The experience. And so when we are actually taking action, we are making the change, right? It's not just perceiving it and having an understanding of it. We always have to take, it's it's not enough to just make choice and have the awareness that you don't want something. You want to make change after, right? Which a lot of people don't actually do. Those are the complainers, right, in life. And so they kind of continue out where they are they never really evolve from that point of view right and that's the chain of reaction for them they just keep continuing perpetuating you know their suffering from that point of view instead of making the change to where they can actually have a different environmental experience showing up in their world right so if you're um, complaining about you know not enough money you're going to keep repeating that instead of you know making the change the thoughts repeating to yourself i have tons of money looking for the positives in it looking for different results. There's got to be something more. There's got to be something different. How can I make this um, into something more, right? Like having the awareness to make the changes without re perpetuating the understanding of where you are so you keep creating that lack, right? And so it's to making change that we are in the moment uh, periodically of, on all levels of awareness on our souls uh, and from the history that has been into the very moment where you get to make change and take action of where you are and that is the dynamics of the moment right and so you are a change maker and it's really about to you what you really want to do with your life right and so if you want to continue perpetuating then you know that's up to you if you want to make change that's up to you but it's probably up to you in the moment of the creation so your life it's 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 really, I mean, it's hard to put in words because everybody's life, there's so much to it, so much purpose. You you are, um, you have a magnitude um, of power. You have, you know, the ability to like make a whole different world for yourself, make change, and it's just utilizing everything from that. Um, and so if you would go back and listen to some of the videos that I have, it'll help to explain some of that. You can also book a coaching session uh, with me. We can dive deeper into it and help you with that. I do the life coaching sessions. You know, we can do life review if that's something you want to do, which will help change the dynamics of your life now. And so then when you are going over onto the side later, you know, that is something less that you'll have to do and worry about at that point. So I do the life coaching, life review uh, sessions and to help, uh, you know, transform your life. But we, if you, if you really understood the, the depths of, of your life and how important you are um, in this world, it, you would be amazed. So 
a lot of people don't think that they have purpose or they have meaning and they don't mean, you know, they're not contributing. But even if you were just to sit there and meditate all day, you are contributing because in, in your own power and your own right, you have an energy and vibration um, that you bring to this world, um, you know, and through that, you're able to bring light, right? And so everybody has purpose. So never think that you don't and you are very powerful and you are loved. Uh, from the other side um, and that is pretty much the message um, you know this week and they're they're making me gonna like, start getting emotional so I'm gonna cut it there because there's a lot of love that's flowing through from them so um, definitely reach out if you are interested in this session um, now I just did a uh, uh, interview with AJ Parr I don't know if you know about AJ Parr but check that out and i um, hoping to have uh, more people come on to the platform on the YouTube channel different things like that and also starting a support group uh, you know for near-death experiencers who may be suffering at this time and, and know that because as part of the guidance that they wanted me to create is a, a support system for, you know, people who have had near-death experience, been to the other side, understand it, and, you know, they struggle with the understanding and knowing. And so that's part of the, the reason for this uh, platform, the Facebook channel, you know, is uh, to not only share the information, to help people remember who they are, but also to be a support system, you know, for others out there as well, you know, and I've been through it, so it's not an easy journey. And so um, setting up a um, private uh, group for the near-death experiencers who are, you know, maybe struggling a little bit um, and, you know, helping them to move forward, so. If you're interested in that, let me know, and um, we can definitely get together on that. So, all right, well, happy journeys. Thanks for tuning in. And again, if you would like to do a session, uh, definitely reach out to me, and have a great day.